On the tube, Jeff Marshall makes his attempt to get into the record books. You just spent half an hour to train. You think this is bad? You should try and do it for 19 hours. <laughs> While Brian's got the power off for the repair team. There's 630 volts running through those live rails. Customer information, there are no more westbound Jubilee line services from London Bridge Station tonight. The last one... Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the control room at London Bridge. There are no more trains from this station this evening. It's 12.30 a.m., and although the last train has left London Bridge, station supervisor Brian Valentine will be working through the night. Plenty of contractors coming in. Maintenance work going on. New works, track work. You name it, it's going on. Hello. Hello, mate. Right. Oh, just finished. Just finished? Yeah. Engineering hours on the underground are severely limited. There are only four hours a night for essential repairs to be carried out. The tube doesn't run all night because we need to do maintenance work. We've got single track tunnels. We're not like New York where they've got double track tunnels. If you imagine those two escalators and the part in between is a tube tunnel. This is the up line and that's the down line. You couldn't, you've now got room to stand there, you've got room to stand there, and you've got room to stand where he is. So you can allow trains to pass. That allows you to work. Where you've got a single track tube tunnel, if you imagine that's your tube tunnel, the train fits there and you may have three inches of room. So you cannot expect men to work down there while the current's on. There's 630 volts running through those live rails. So everything must come to a standstill for people to work in safety. From a hotel in Chesham at the end of the Metropolitan Line, Jeff Marshall, a computer technician, and Dave Brooks are planning to get into the Guinness Book of Records. So if we're going to beat it, we're only going to beat it by about 10 minutes. Tomorrow, they'll make their second attempt to get to all 275 stations on the underground in around 19 hours to beat the current world record. If we're going to make up time, at least one of them is on that run from North Harrow to West Harrow, which yeah. I think we can do better on. That's faster. Secondly, if we don't get caught up at Haynor, where we, we have to wait 13 minutes, if we can get a train that goes direct to Epping, we'll save time there. Why are we doing it? The reason why I'm doing it, I've always been fascinated in, in the tube, and I'm not about to beat any world records for being the world's strongest man or, or anything, so, but this is something I can do, we can do, we can, we can beat this record. Can't we? <laughs> We're ready. We'll do it. Every night, the traction current is switched off on the underground to allow the engineers to carry out maintenance work on the tracks. It's always a race against time. At night time, I've got a different set of problems, different set of people, but uh, by and large, contractors aren't as much trouble as uh, customers. Never. That's what I said, by and large, they're not. I've got more control over contractors than I have customers. Tonight, Mark Curry is replacing insulators on the 630 volt rails. Any mistake in the measurements could be disastrous. The tunnel here, it's uh, very, like the size of it is specific to, to the size of the train. And there's not a great deal of clearance. So if this rail is too high, the top of the train would appear the tunnel. Because working six nights a week down here, knowing that you've got a nice warm bed at home and you're longing to get into it in the mornings. But you, you change the way that you, you live. She's loose, go on, bring Come it on. out. We don't have that long on engineering hours and for trains to run in the morning, everything's got to be set and gauged and into position, ready for trains to run safely. The engineers have to be off the track by 5 a.m. so the current can be switched back on in time for the first train. Jeff and Dave's world record attempt won't get off to a good start if there are any delays on the tube. Spot on. It's still dark when Jeff and Dave arrive at their first station. It's very early, it's ten past five, we're at Chesham. Top left hand corner of the tube map. <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> yeah, why? <laughs> Can I go back to bed? <laughs> yes, but in 19 hours time. Oh, thanks, mate. <laughs> One inch. Guinness World Records say you don't actually have to take a photo of every station, you just have to su supply sufficient material 
to prove that you were there at certain times. So tube. <laughs> the one thing they do insist on is a logbook, which I have, which we have to write down where you were, at what time you got to what station, what time you got there. Oh, we leave in four minutes. Although having said that, the 5.23 has previously left at 5.25. My first part of the journey is the Chesham branch, up to Amersham, the Watford branch, and all the way down to Preston Road in Norfolk Park. It depends where we can change. And this whole lot takes you about just under two hours to do, so that's, what, about 12, 15, 12, 30, 14, 15 station in, in two hours. It's a, very, it's a very low return. As their journey begins, Brian Valentine is coming to the end of his night shift at London Bridge. Morning, Brian. How Hi. are you? How's your long shift been last night? Very long, as you've just said, mate. Long and tiring, thank you. And I'm looking forward what, to going. Are you contractors? No, there weren't that many. I was out and about quite a bit of the night. Oh, God. It's uh, the early commuters that uh, come in on the main line and catch our first trains out of here. I need another supervisor to come in here and take me off. And as soon as someone does that, I'm going to change and get on my bike. Northern line, running? Yeah, there was a... Edgeware, a Golders Green to Edgeware was suspended, a bit of a problem then. What did you do? This morning. Only Golders Green to Edgeware, I think it's back in now. Anyway. Luckily, Jeff and Dave are nowhere near the signal failures at Golders Green. They're still on the Metropolitan line. Just having a quick limber up warm up because after an hour and a half, your body hasn't moved very far. We're about to run. First run of the day, it's an eight minute run, and uh, your body's not expecting it. Suddenly, you've been sat on the train for an hour and a half. Suddenly, you just go running off down a cold morning, and you just need to warm up first. 6.52. They're only allowed to move between stations on foot or by public transport. How are you doing? Morning, fine, no hurry. This eight minute run will take them up the road to Kenton, where they can join the Bakerloo line. So that's the end of a long night for me, and I'm going home. See so tonight, going? <clears throat> nice cup of cocoa and off to bed. At 8.27 a.m., Jeff and Dave have ticked off 41 stations. At rush hour, they have their first panic. The Lambeth North just sat there agonisingly for two minutes, not going anywhere. Next one approaching. High Barnet. Didn't lose us any time. It's a High Barnet train, so we've got a change at uh, Camden Town. So we want to be in the fourth one down. Done all the Bakerloo. Got to redo the bit of them. It's put on later, but all the Bakerloo is at least done. Out the way. So Bakerloo line, you can go ahead and have signal failures all you like, because we've done you. Yes. How fast do you do it? <laughs> How fast? I've done it before. The next it's station just a matter of where I can beat, beat the record. So, what's the record? 19 hours, 18 minutes. I've, I've done it in 19 hours, 33. Uh, Cheshire, but 5.23 this morning. You just spent half an hour on a train. You think this is bad? You should try doing it for 19 hours. He's <laughs> a nut. I think we're a couple minutes down. It's just taken longer to do... I don't know, we'll make up time. Make up time. No sweat. Elephant Castle's 40. 41, 42, where are we? 43, 44, was that Old Street? 38, 20. Yes, was was Street. that Old Street? So as of Old Street, 45 stations done. Time? 38, 20. Uh, what's, what's, what's 75 miles? 230 to go. The current world record is held by a 24-year-old from Nottingham who did the whole network in 19 hours, 18 minutes. Because we're, we're at 10 minutes down and there's no bus. Where's our bus? One four two. Is that Edgware? No, it's yes, and it's it the first bus of the day to get to the Jubilee line. You're going to stand more. Lovely. Cheers. What's the time? Nine twenty eight forty. That's really annoying. Even a tiny delay on the network could mean the end of their chances. They still haven't got to Victoria when station supervisor Simon White gets called to a hazard on a district line track. I'm going onto the eastbound district line platform. Apparently someone has dropped something on the track. We're going to try and fish it up with this device. Female customers in particular boarding the train, get on and drop one shoe on the track. Well, then you have to endeavour to get it back for them because you don't want to go to work with one shoe, do you?
Uh, their boxes, I think that they've got jewelry in apparently. You've got to be very careful doing this. You know, you don't want a train to come in while you're doing this. You'll be in deep trouble. You'd lose your head. And that's without even going to the tower. There's always one difficult one in it. That's it. Sometimes it could be way into the middle of the track and it means discharging traction current. Now, we are not going to discharge traction current for something that somebody dropped on the platform. Silly. The guys have now been going for eight hours. They've covered over 100 miles of track and done 110 stations. Well, we're at Liverpool Street. We've just done the entire length of the Victoria Line. Uh, where have you been? We came down the Northern Line, near Halise, changed at Warren Street, Euston, up the Victoria Line to Walthamstow, changed onto an overground train, wagon train, very efficient service, got us in early, uh, and uh, we're ahead of schedule. Okay. Always get the first train. Supposing this train goes and then, there's, and then there's a failure here, at least we've moved up the line. Always, always get the first train. At Victoria, Simon White's cleared the tracks and the district and circle lines are problem free. They can't be very important, can they? Else you wouldn't have dropped them, would you? No, it's very important. <laughs> Just check them to make sure that what you left still here. Yeah, this is the one. Open them and check, young lady. You don't want to go over when you go to and find And I'm curious to know what's inside myself anyway. It's uh, a magnetic um, bracelet. Do I get one of them for retrieving them for you? Yes, sure. I'm only because, kidding, young lady. I'm only kidding. Uh, you know, I'm, all, I mean, I'm, only, uh, I'm only joking. I mean, <laughs> The electric rays down there, and if you touch them, you will be a gunner, you will be killed. There will be curtains, you'll be taken up in a plastic bag, black. Vic supervisor. Uh huh. 5 p.m., and without a signal failure in sight, Jeff and Dave are having to contend with some of the underground's more remote stations. Notes London Underground, stations we would like to see closed <laughs> to make it quicker include, uh, well, the whole Watford and Chesham, obviously. Yeah. Stepney Green, pain in the bum. At Shoreditch. Look, no one's here. Okay, yeah, you can close that station. If you got, if you got rid of that, that would take off ten minutes. They've been travelling for over 12 hours now, and they've got seven hours to get to the remaining 107 stations. Things are looking good when they get to Aldgate. Right, all gays. Yeah. Brain's going. Hello, we're all gay. What's the time? A quarter to six? Okay. We're at all gate. We just run from all gays. And uh, having just done the central. Uh, your mind goes, having just done the East London line. And we did the level circle line train. If one comes, uh, there's no information at present. <sighs> and we were ahead of time. I was really hoping for a good change, but um, I don't think we're, we're going to get one. Things were looking good. But now they've hit a hold up. Right. 